Yeah, so I'm actually calling because um, I'm. Guys, it is official. I am leaving college and I am leaving the NCAA. And this is a huge decision for me. It's been a really stressful process and really probably one of the most stressful periods of time in my entire life. Like even just today, I was like shaking with nerves about making a call to my coaches and you know, doing all this. It's been a really, really stressful process. And so I just ask that you guys please be easy on me in the comments. Please don't be super mean. And just watch this video all the way through. Listen all the way through because there's a lot to be explained. There's a lot to talk about. And I think that you should only judge or I guess roast me or you know whatever you do in the comments if you've watched the entire video because I guess this is going to be more than just saying, yeah, I dropped out, like all this stuff. Like it's not to hype up dropping out of school. It's not to do any of that. It's literally to explain why I decided to leave college. First off, I want to start out by addressing the William & Mary guys team. Guys, honestly, it has been amazing. It was a really great year. It was really fun running with you guys and getting to learn a lot about the sport and myself through you guys and you know being able to train with you all. I really think that a lot of good stuff is to come for you guys. You guys have a lot of talent and a lot of potential and I'm really sorry to be leaving the team. You guys are all amazing and it's nothing personal. Honestly, I really, really enjoyed being teammates with all of you guys. So I just wanted to put that out there. No hard feelings. Uh, this is just solely a personal decision. Before I get into my story um, and kind of the real reason why, I just want to say that, you know, I think this has been so stressful because a year ago I would have never imagined dropping out of college. It wasn't like I, I knew that I would love college or anything like that, but I guess I didn't really go in with the intention of getting a certain degree. I didn't go in, you know, having one degree in sight because really I was going there to run and to experience college and to surround myself with really great people and you know grow and develop as a human while also getting a degree but the degree was not the biggest part because I always knew I just wanted to do something entrepreneurial I wanted to push myself and really a degree as much as it does set you up for a consulting job if you're going into business or something like that um, it's not necessarily gonna set you up to be an entrepreneur or like starting your own thing and most of that really comes from inside if you have the drive if you want to do that if that is your thing and so I mean of course college is beneficial and of course college is right for some people but honestly I don't know even from the beginning if it was right for me but it still shocks me that I today am leaving college so now to get to more of my story I went to college thinking that it would be a really great time that I would have a lot of fun I'd be really great people and honestly I went into college thinking that I would meet a bunch of people that would wow me I know this is kind of like a not cocky perspective to take but I really thought that getting to college would you know put me in a position to meet a lot of people where I'm like wow like you're doing this like this is crazy you're really doing that and of course I met a few people that were doing things that really were wowing me and of course there were people that I didn't meet that were doing things that would you know really throw me back and be like whoa but you know I always envisioned college to be like Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak like doing crazy things and thinking up crazy inventions and all this stuff and college was far from that honestly and so basically going into college I was really excited I was really you know, hoping for the best. I was really hoping that would be something that was, you know, my thing. Like, I would love it. It would be the best four years of my life. And um, when I got there, you know, I, I had two really great roommates, Ryan and Alex. You guys are amazing. I really loved rooming with you guys. It was fun. It was interesting. It was always, you know, something new. But it was also really calm. And, you know, we literally never got in a fight. Like, we all meshed so well and so coming into it and you know starting out it was really good like it was a good setup i had my cross-country team and i had 
you know, my great roommates that turned out to be really great roommates. And um, yeah, I went into it thinking a lot. I went into it really excited with high expectations and wanting to do well in school. When I went into college, I had probably like 100 or less subscribers on this YouTube channel. And this was less than a year ago. And you know, I was thinking, oh, there's like a fun little hobby, like it's kind of cool, like whatever. You know, this is just something that I'm doing. And one of my videos, actually my second video started to like catch some speed and catch some traction. And, and when I got to school, I remember it being orientation. I was walking with this guy named Tommy and some of you may know him if you've watched the vlog for a while. And um, I was like, yeah, dude, I have this video on YouTube that has 500 views. Like I was so excited about this one video. And uh, now things have changed a lot. And I'll get more into that a little bit later. But that is a big thing to know. I went in with like no following on YouTube. Like it was really purely a hobby where I'd make videos and kind of document my journey through college. Um, and yeah, it, it, that's how it kind of started out. Moving into the first semester, kind of just clumping it all as a whole. The first semester was really cool because I was chasing a spot on the cross country team and the traveling team and it was honestly really awesome for me because I, I love cross country. I love running and I was on the D1 cross country team at William Mary and I was chasing a spot on the starting roster and it was so cool running with all these new and talented people. And it made me better, it made me a lot better. And my coach Forrest Braden is amazing and, and he definitely trained me up a lot in that first semester and I was getting a lot better. And I made it onto the traveling roster and I was flying to places like Wisconsin and really I was enjoying myself a lot. But I was like starting to miss the weekends a little bit. You know, I felt like I was missing out on the college experience a little bit and my girlfriend at the time was, you know, back at home in Richmond. And so, you know, it was like kind of hard um, and all that was happening. I was still really happy and enjoying myself and the channel was growing and it was a really, really exciting time. I was making videos like day in the life as a D1 runner and all that stuff. And it was super fun, it was super cool. Like I really loved that time, um, but it was difficult. And the thing I need to underscore here is that Although I was having fun and like traveling and doing all of this stuff, my grades were suffering. I was going to a really selective school, I'd say, or a pretty selective school. It's like a 30% acceptance rate and it's a really difficult school. It's notoriously difficult there. Like it's not just like hard to get into, like it's actually a difficult school. Like they don't really inflate your grades at all. Like honestly, I feel like they deflated the grades. It was really hard to get good grades. And I knew coming from high school, I'd have to work a lot harder, but you know, I just didn't have the time to put in the effort. Like many days I would start the day and then end the day and be like, dang, I got so little done because I was constantly going to a meeting for the team and I was going to practice and then I was going to class and I was going to this and I was editing a little video and then I'm like, oh my gosh. Like I woke up and then went to sleep and my day was packed. Like it was crazy. I was enormously busy. And so, you know, first semester I skaved by, you know, I made it through and had a good enough GPA. And when I say good enough, I mean like, below a three, like it was bad. It was really, really bad, but it was good enough to still be eligible to run. So to wrap up the first semester, basically I was chasing a traveling spot on the cross country roster and I got it and I was traveling a lot and I was working hard and my days were start to finish and I was trying to pump out one video a week for this YouTube channel and I was trying to do a lot of things Another small side note is that I had a lot of recruits that first semester, so it was really fun. I had a lot of people that I was hosting and showing around, and it was really fun, and that's how I spent a lot of weekends as well. And another side note, at the end of the first semester, my girlfriend and I at the time broke up. So that's just a small side note, but I guess it's a big piece of the puzzle. But yeah, so that was the wrap up of my first semester in college. The second semester was a little bit different. Honestly, it was, you know, it was different classes. It was different people in my classes. It was just a different routine. And I think a lot of things were getting to me a bit. So for one thing, um, you know, I was not traveling with the team because I was redshirting indoor and outdoor. But, you know, I think 
the school part was getting to me more and more. Knowing that I needed to do well and going to class every day and thinking, dang, this stuff is so boring. Like I tried to put myself in classes that were both easy and fun and interesting. Like I put myself in classes that I really would enjoy and I really thought that I would enjoy. And honestly, they didn't pan out for me. Like I was not interested in my classes during the first semester, except for my like art and design class. And then the second semester, I really wasn't interested in classes. Actually, the first semester I was also interested in my physiology of the marathon class, which is just a rare class to get in and a very interesting class. But you know, those two classes I enjoyed the first semester, but the second semester I enjoyed like no classes. And I picked out classes that I thought all four would be interesting, but then it ended up, you know, being zero. And that was really hard on me. It was really hard having to go to class and, you know, just be bored to death and like kind of fall asleep. And it was kind of the professors as well. Like I didn't think that they were that interesting or that they're presenting information that was that crazy. And so, yeah, that's kind of what was happening in school. I was like not feeling it. and I wasn't doing too hot either. At the start of the semester, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get good grades. Like I'm gonna crush this semester. It's gonna be great. And uh, it wasn't, wasn't working out as I started getting through the semester. On top of that, since I did poorly in school the first semester, I get hit with eight hours of study hall each week. So basically, uh, the athletic department was like, yeah, you need eight hours of study hall, which is basically a place where you go and you have to swipe in and do work at like eight to 10 at night in the library or in this random basement with other people that you had to swipe into. And honestly, I hated that. I hated that because if anybody knows how I work, people that know how I work, my friends that know how I work, I don't like working in libraries. I, I really, really don't like libraries. I don't like that environment. I don't get much done there, as well as in weird little basement places with a bunch of other people that I don't know. I'm just not comfortable in that environment. And it was really at a detriment of my work because I had to spend a lot of time going to these places to do work when I was already doing work in my room and it just seemed so counterproductive and it felt like my time was shrunk even more every day. I lost two hours that I would have had otherwise. So classes weren't going well, I didn't really like them, and I had this study hall eight hours a week, which was really like 10 hours a week with travel to it, you know, by bike and all that stuff and getting resettled and all that stuff. And so that was happening. And then at the same time, I don't know, I just wasn't as happy as I've been in the past. I don't know if it was a mixture of those things or the pressures of everything, but I just was kind of getting unhappy. Like, I've never really been depressed, but I think this was the closest I've ever gotten to being depressed. Honestly, like for a time, I just wasn't feeling myself, you know? And I wasn't the happiest. And I knew it was kind of a mixture of, you know, the redundancy and the repetition and the, it really felt like I was stuck in a rut. Like my life that second semester was me going through a rut every single day. And the thing is that it was really hard to change that. Like every day was pretty much the same because at eight to 10, I had to be at study hall and I practiced from these set times. I had class from these set times. And then the small gaps that I had in between, I'd spend either getting food or kind of just, you know, preparing for the next thing and showering and all that stuff or double running and all that stuff. So really my day was just taken up and I, I felt really stuck. Like I didn't have the fun of getting to do all these different things. And on the weekend, somehow, I don't know, they just disappeared as well. And I started to feel like things were just moving really fast and I really wasn't enjoying myself and it wasn't the best experience. So to wrap up the second semester, not my best time really not the best time in my life, but I was running better than ever. And I had two races that were probably some of the best races of my entire life so far, a 14.48 5K and the 30.38 10K, but the 10K was in the summer. But you, you know, you get the gist. I was running really well, I was training really hard, but I really wasn't that happy besides running. So when I finally come home for summer break, everything is different. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's food with really good flavor. Because after you eat at a dining hall for a long time, you lose sight of you know what different food is because you're eating the same food every day. 
And I was just like getting back to my real life, you know, the life that I had before college. And when I was back to my normal life, I was getting really happy and I was really fine. I was getting to hang out with a lot of my old friends again and it was really making me feel good. I was really happy, honestly. And this time back home to reflect, let me think about what I was experiencing and think about what makes me happy and think about what the possibilities are otherwise. And in a recent video, a couple videos ago, I was like, there's three choices. And that's what I finally came to after thinking for a long time, like a month or more, I finally came to either I should, number one, the crazy idea, two, the normal idea, and then three, the a little crazy idea. And so least crazy idea was to go back to school and, and just kind of, you know, do my thing back at school while being academically ineligible. So basically I wouldn't be able to compete because my grades were so bad the second semester. I forgot to say that, but they were really bad and I wasn't gonna be able to compete with the team because of my grades in that situation, which is really bad. Or I was thinking of transferring to a school that was much easier that I could really just, you know, do my thing and then like kinda do school because there are those schools where you can just kinda do your thing. But then I was also thinking, maybe I could do something pretty crazy. And that's kind of what I came to, but I'll kind of get to that in a little bit. Um, so, you know, I was thinking about different options. I was thinking about different ways that I could, you know, spend my life, I guess. And so when coming to finally make my decision to leave the NCA and leave college, I had a few things I was considering and that were very big in my decision. Basically, I had grown the YouTube channel. I started out with like 100 subs when I got to college, and today I have over 40,000 subscribers. So thank you for that. But that provides me with a source of income, a small source of income, but it's enough money for me to live off if I live frugally. And knowing that was a really big thing because knowing that I had the support from the viewership standpoint and as well as the financial standpoint, I knew that I could do something different. And I'd always wanted to do something different. I knew college may not be for me. And so it allowed me to think of what was possible. And knowing that I have a passion for running and entrepreneurship, I know that with running, you know, I can pursue the highest level of running, pursue a professional contract. Hopefully over the next couple of years, if I leave the NCAA, I can, I can train all out. I don't have to worry about spending time on school. I can focus on training and meeting up with people and working with people and collaborating with people from a business standpoint and then expanding my business and working on different business fronts. And so I'm gonna become a better athlete, become a better entrepreneur while not going to school. And another part of this equation was that my parents are really accepting of this idea, which is amazing and I can't thank them enough for being really open-minded with this because they, they understand that, you know, me right now, I'm, I'm not ready for college or I don't need college maybe, you may be able to say. And so the combination of these three things, my passion, my financial support and emotional support, I guess, from you guys, as well as my parents being very accepting and very open to the idea, have allowed me to make this somewhat radical decision. And I don't wanna say that it's not good to go to college because for some people it is the right path, but for me at this moment, it is slowing me down when I could be speeding up. And that's really the truest way to put it. But as for next year, as for the next couple months, you're gonna to have to watch tomorrow's vlog to find out a lot more. I'll see you guys later. As usual, live happy, be healthy, bye. Also, shout out to Santa5125 for being the first comment on today's video. I had to include this after the outro because this is a serious video. But guys, I'll see you later. Bye.